Hi, I'm Nick Haraz from Creative 111, here to talk to you about content-aware fill inside of Adobe After Effects. Now, content-aware fill was just added in After Effects CC 2019 in the April release, and I'm just gonna head inside of After Effects where I already have a composition with a subject inside. What I'd like to do is remove the logo from his hat because I do not have permission to show it. In order to accomplish this, first of all, I need to make a mask around what I'd like to remove. I'm gonna select the clip here in my timeline with my playhead at the very beginning. And underneath my shape tools, I'm gonna to select the ellipse tool. To be careful about what I draw, I'm gonna press Command equals inside the composition window in order to zoom in, followed by the space bar in order to frame the logo that I want to remove. I'll now draw around that logo with my ellipse tool in order to mask it. For the time being, I'm gonna set the mask mode to none in order to see the overall image. And to make sure that this mask keeps up with the logo, I'm gonna to need to track it. An easy way to do that is inside the composition window, control click and choose to track mask. You'll be presented with a tracker panel, which I'll dock to the left of the composition window. And for this instance, the method I'll use was set to perspective. I'll press the play button in order to track this forward. And you can see it does a pretty good job of keeping up with the logo. I'm now gonna to move to the first frame of my clip and press the shift question mark key in order to zoom out. Let's give Content Aware Fill a poster frame in order to help it. I'll press the V key to go back to my default selection tool. And I already have my Content Aware Fill panel showing, which I got from the window menu. I'll click on the Create Reference Frame, and that's gonna shoot me right inside of Photoshop. And here, I'll select my Quick Selection tool, press Command equal to zoom in, followed by the space bar, and try to quickly select my logo around this person's hat. In order to be careful, I'm also going to go to the Select menu, choose to Modify, and expand my selection by a series of pixels. I have a little bit of extra material here that I'll remove by pressing an Option clicking. And now that I'm happy with my logo selection, I'll go to the Edit menu, choose to fill this, and use a Content-Aware Fill with Color Adaptation. Once I do, I can see there that it looks pretty nicely filled. I'll press Command-D, and if I need to do any fixing up here, I'll select my Spot Healing Brush tool and click a few times just to make this a bit better. I also want to draw your attention here to the line at the side, and we can use the Clone tool and a number of Patch tools to fix that up as well. I'll press Command-0 to zoom out and Command-Q to quit and save outside of Photoshop. I'm now back inside of After Effects, and I can see that a reference frame has been created underneath my clip. I'll now change the mask mode from None to Subtract in order to prepare this for the Content Aware Fill panel. I'll move my playhead so you can see there that I still have my mask. And inside the Content Aware Fill panel, you should be able to see an alpha channel. This is what the Content Aware Fill panel needs. It's also going to take into consideration the reference frame. I'm just going to expand this a little bit to protect or make sure that I have the entire logo. And for this fill method, because the pixels around it are slightly blurry because of the shot, I'm going to change the fill method from Object to Edge Blend. Let's generate a fill layer. We'll let After Effects analyze this clip and then render out a fill layer on top of our clip. Now that After Effects has finished rendering out the fill layer, I can see it here at the top of my timeline. I can also see here in the hat that my logo is no longer there. Now this edge blend does create blurry pixels. Sometimes surface works better, and I'll let you choose between the two of them for your project's needs. I'm gonna press the space bar to play that back, and we can see that that logo no longer exists, and we filled out this shot nicely. And that's how easy it is to use Content Aware Fill to remove logos out of shots. I'm Nick Haraz. Click on the below link in order to find out more information and tips and tricks on After Effects.